A cinematic king has fallen. At 43, after a valiant four-year fight, Chadwick Boseman lost his battle with colon cancer Friday, his wife and family beside him. But just what an interesting guy and just what a sad loss. He was so brilliant. Like that speech that he gave, the, the, the graduating class speech that he gave. I stand here today knowing that my Howard University education prepared me to play Jackie Robinson. James Brown, Thurgood Marshall, and T'Challa. You know, I had an opportunity to spend a, a, a couple evenings with him, a couple days with him, meet him and talk to him. Um, you can tell that he was something that was just more than what we saw on the screen. I've known him since I was about like 17, so I've known him for a really long time um, back in New York. He did the work, obviously. And as a human being outside of the movie, he was so perfect. To, to be that guy, you know, to to be this 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 guy who embodies what you would want from a, a movie star and a, and a guy in a position of prominence and a guy who you know has a voice and uh, to see him die at 43 of cancer, it's just. Sometimes you need to feel the pain and sting of defeat to activate the real passion and purpose that God predestined inside of you. God says in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. He was here far too short a time. Chadwick was a deeply kind and gentle person. There will forever be an irreplaceable piece missing from our Marvel family. He's a historical figure as the Black Panther, but also such a good and decent human being. If uh, still waters run deep, then uh, Chadwick Boseman was a deep brother.